What up, guys? It's your boy Nick, aka Old Laddie, back in the building. I'm doing a new thing today. I told you guys in my last video, which was my uh, black sheep talk video, uh, that I watched. Um, what was it called? Thanksgiving. I watched Thanksgiving, which was, I guess, considered a horror movie, even though it's more of like a gory slasher movie. Um, so it got my mind kind of thinking. What is the best uh, horror movie of all time? Um, so I decided to come up with this tournament, and I had really no grounds of like how to determine where this, like what seating, who went where, and like I just like, I, I kind of just made it up as I went, and uh, so I could be totally wrong. You guys can tell me hey you're crazy it should be this movie it should be that movie just let me know what, what you think let me so i'm gonna go over this awesome slideshow that i made uh for the tournament and let you guys see what you think about what i came up with okay let me go ahead and share my screen so i got this look at that look this boy made an awesome slideshow look at that <laughs> all right Educating Kentucky, but I know how to do a slideshow, even though probably half of it's misspelled. But don't look at it that, that well. Okay, don't look at it that good. Oh, I don't even know how to work this computer. Though. Okay, so this is all the movies that I have. I'm going to try to tell you really, really fast. Okay, I got Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I got Friday the 13th. I got The Exorcist, The Blair Witch Project, Evil Dead, Poltergeist, Jeepers Creepers, The Fog, The Craft, The Ring, Scream, Night of the Living Dead, The Omen. Nightmare on Elm Street, that's the first one. Carrie, Halloween, It, the 2017 one, because the the one that's in the 80s or 90s or whatever is like a miniseries. It's not technically a real movie. Um, the Nun, The Conjuring, Silence of the Lambs, Annabelle, Smile, Paranormal Activity, The Grunge, uh, I think I'm saying that right, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, that's mine because I can watch that one without being scared. I'm scared of horror movies. Um, it's the Great Pumpkin Patch, which actually isn't a movie either. It came on TV, but whatever. I like Charlie Brown. Uh, Child's Play, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Terrifier, uh, Us, and Interview with a Vampire. Which I don't know if that's really even considered a horror movie either, but hey, I put it on there, so it is now. Okay, so after the first round, I pretty much came up. Uh, let me skip a level so you know how I came up with the, the the eliminations, okay? So so what I did was I basically looked on Rotten Tomatoes and like the uh, to see the Rotten Tomato score and the like audience scores and whoever so you like this is a highlighted this is like an example right here like the uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers had a Rotten Tomato score ninety three. An audience score of 82 and then if you go to interview with a vampire because somehow i'll put them two together and um uh, it has a uh, rotten tomato of 60 and an audience of 86 if you were to do an average uh invasion of the body snatchers would win i don't know what it is i'm not the rain man it's some kind of average i don't know right and uh so like if you go down here and you do paranormal activity it's got an 83 rotten tomato score and Oh, uh, it's got a 57 audience score. And the Nightmare Before Christmas has a 95 Rotten Tomato score and a 92 audience score. So that would be Nightmare Before Christmas would go to the next round. So that's how I came up with it. I didn't show you every single one. If you want to know every single Rotten Tomato score, it could be changed by now, audience score. I did this like a little bit like like back, just like, you know, a little bit because things can change day to day. I don't know. But see... This is what I came up with, all right? So, those are all the seedings. Like, I'm pointing. Like, you can really tell what I'm doing. But, like, so we got Invasion of the Body Snatchers, The Evil Dead, Poltergeist. We got Carrie, Halloween, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, oh, and Child's Play, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Terrifier, and us that's all the ones that went forward into the next round so we got 
2027. Oh, which is for some reason. Yeah, 2027. I think my little thing is not lining up exactly, but 27, 20 was Silence of the Lambs. That one should be in there. For some reason, it's it's covering it up too, but Silence of the Lambs should be in there. Child's Play, so that's the next one. Should be Invasion of the Body Snatchers versus Nightmare on Elm Street is the next match. That's this one right here. Uh, if anybody has a, like maybe a better way to formulate it through the next rounds i'm totally cool with suggestions but like this is like my fastest way i could figure out how to do it so and then the nightmare before christmas versus the poltergeist is this next one right here and then we got um uh i don't even know i gotta look at my first one night of the living dead So we got, oh, I got, I got, I got, Oh, Night of Living Dead versus the Great Pumpkin Patch. And then over here we got Texas Chainsaw Massacre against us, against Carrie, against Halloween, against my, my gosh. We're 13. The Omen. The Omen. I think I didn't even say that earlier, did I? Um, the Conjuring, the Omen against the Conjuring, and the Evil Dead against the Terrifier. That's that has made it into from the round of thirty-two, which there was one buy, so the technically only 31, 31 movies. I thought that seemed more spooky. Into the round of sixteen, okay. So I gave twenty a buy just because I don't know. I just did. So whatever. Hate me for it. So now we're into the next round. Oh, this is how I got the this is how I got the elimination for the next round. Okay. So anybody any of the movies that grossed more than any of the other movies. So like uh, this is highlighted examples, like number twelve, nine to living dead, it grossed two hundred and thirty six thousand four hundred and fifty two. I didn't like do like conversion of like when the movie came out compared to what it is now, it's just apples to apples comparison. If it's this amount of money, it's this amount of money. I don't care that it was 1970 versus 2017. Yes, obviously that's going to be a difference, but I can't sit there. I don't know what the difference is. It's, I got Kentucky math people. So like, see, like I messed up and see like, this wasn't a movie, the great pump, pumpkin patch never made any money in the movie so it was automatically didn't make it to the next round so it was never re released in theaters so uh in this particular one 12 and uh, 26 12 is gonna go to the elite eight we got um uh, the move the next one is uh the evil dead it's number five on here number five and it's um uh, got it made 200.2 200 2.8 million in the theaters and then the terrifier made four hundred and sixteen thousand three hundred and twenty two dollars so obviously the evil dead's gonna go um to the next round so like, i'll show you how that worked out so we got silence of the lambs made it oh wait a bit we got um number 14 what was 14? Nightmare on Elm Street. Whoa. That's a big time Elite Eight matchup right there, folks. And then we got 25, which is the Nightmare Before Christmas versus whatever 12 was. Uh, Night of the Living Dead. So that'll get you down to... That gets you down to the Elite Eight on this side. So, like, I try to color coordinate it so that every time there's an elimination round, you could see the different colors. It seemed like it made sense at the time. I don't think it makes so much sense now, but, like, I've been trying, okay? So, um, we got over here 30 made it through. 30 is us 
versus 16, which is Halloween. So we've got us versus Halloween uh, going into the Elite Eight round. And then we got 19 versus, which is 19 is the Conjuring versus five, the Evil Dead. So we got we got the Silence of the Lambs, we got Nightmare on Elm Street versus they versus each other, and then we got Nightmare Before Christmas. We got I wish I could remember anything. Uh, Night Night of the Living Dead, and then you got Us versus Halloween versus The Conjuring versus The Evil Dead. So this is your Elite Eight. So now we're going down to the final four. So how did I get to the final four? Okay, I think I did. So the final four was was done by yeah, it was done by the movie awards. So like in this particular scenario, we have a highlighted match of number 20, which is the Silence of the Lambs. And it was, it took on it won over 27 different awards, including the Academy Award for Best Male, Female Actor and Actress, Pitcher, and numerous others, along with other ones that won Academy Awards. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street won, uh, was a two-time nominee for, never won, but was a two-time nominee for a Saturn Award for Best Horror Film that year. So obviously, out of those two, Silence of the, of the Lambs is going to win that matchup. Um, in the next one, we got The Evil Dead one, was a one-time Saturn Award winner for Best Low Budget Film, uh, I guess for ni- in 1981. And The Conjuring was a one-time Critics Choice winner and two times Small Lur- small Award Film Fest winner. I don't know. I who knows? I can't write. It, it won three awards and the other one won one. So in that scenario, the Conjuring is going to go ahead of the Evil Dead. So in that case, we have you know, we have to uh, push the right buttons. So we got um, we got Silence of the Lambs versus so uh the Nightmare Before Christmas versus Halloween versus The Conjuring. So this is your final four. So how I come up with the final four? Well, this is where it becomes my opinion because I couldn't figure out another way to figure it out. So I watched these four movies and to me, by far, Silence of the Land is way scarier than Night Before the Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, that some of the animation in the Nightmare Before Christmas is a little eerie. It's a Tim Burton movie. It's got classic, classic music that you would you know when you hear it. It does talk about Halloween and Christmas themes, but it's not scary. It's for a it's it's a family movie with Halloween themes and spooky themes and Christmas themes. It's not a it's not a horror movie. So like Silence of the, of the Lambs obviously takes that side of it. So the much harder one would be Halloween versus uh, The Conjuring. And whenever I watch those two, uh, to me, Halloween, yes, is a lot of, um, I guess you could say is a lot more classic. Like if you were to say, which is a better villain, or not villain, but a monster, a bad guy, you would say Michael Myers, right? He's classic. He's like Jason, Freddy, all those other guys. But as for like the movie itself, there's a couple of jump scares, but like overall, I wouldn't say that like that particular movie is that scary. Like compared for me, compared to like what The Conjuring was, like this is my opinion, so I could be totally wrong. Somebody else might think that Halloween's way scarier than The Conjuring. The Conjuring's stupid, but I thought The Conjuring was scarier than Halloween. So like that got us to the uh the finals here. And I, 
I'm skipping a couple ones right here because I think I messed up and added them. But right here is what is is the is the big thing. I want you guys to be able to decide. Do you think it's Silence of the Lamb, or do you think it's the Conjuring out of this particular tournament? Who, which one of these two do you think it is, or do you think it's one of these other movies? If you do, do you why? Why do you think it's one of the other movies? Uh, you know, I don't really, I don't really watch per se a lot of horror movies. Like I have family members. My daughter loves horror movies. I have other people that love horror. Movies. I don't love horror movies. I'm scared. I'm scared of trailers to horror movies. Like I freak out watching trailers. Like, but I watched a few. I watched like four for this one. I've watched some of these other ones, but like I try to put in other things. It wasn't just my opinion. So at this at this point, you guys tell me what you think is out of this list. Which is the best, Silence of the Lambs or The Conjuring or the scariest movie out of this tournament? Uh, I appreciate you guys watching this far. If you watched this far, if you could like, share, sub, and subscribe, and all that other fun stuff, if, so we could keep the uh, the YouTube guys happy. Uh, appreciate you. Uh, come back to the next video and peace. Mm -hmm.